About six people per day lose their lives and 43 sustain various injuries due to road accidents. Beyond these figures from the National Road Safety Authority are families who are traumatized due to their loss. Margaret Jima lost her only child, Joel, after he was knocked down by a vehicle at Sakaman Junction. Margaret says she has not fully recovered from the incident even after two years. Because I always remember him. He was my only friend and my only child. I'm really suffering due to his loss. I don't want to be closer to his school. I cannot even look at his pictures. I do not want to be alone because I always think about him when I'm alone. Last Monday, a lady came to my workplace with a child who looked just like him. Honestly, I felt so uneasy and was not able to concentrate on the job. I even asked the lady to send him home at a point. The child's teacher was just like my late son. Bevelyn Sefakoto, unlike Joel, was fortunate to survive an accident on the Cape Coast Winneba Road. Her mother, Agatha Druye, had to leave her job to care for her daughter, who was fighting for her life. When the accident happened, I had to stop my work to cater for her. I was worried when she was going to school, I used to visit her every three days. She still uses handkerchiefs to cover her face because of past trauma. Bevelyn has experienced suicidal thoughts at times due to her physical and mental well-being. I sometimes questioned myself why this happened to me and why I was even alive. When the accident happened, I was shy to go for gatherings because of stigmatization. In addition to the emotional loss, they had to bear the financial burden alone. The finances from the accidents became our burden. Even the insurance claim they gave us was not enough. Some individuals rely on the support of benevolent persons and organizations. It varies uh, from finances to uh, recovery aids. There are some situations you realize that they need just wheelchair, they need just crutches, arm sling, uh, um, zima frame, which most of them need. Most of the injuries, uh, they need immediate surgeries where you have to give them some kind of financial aid. And so most of them will support them with money. Clinical psychologist at the University of Ghana, Reverend Father Anthony Efriyam Ponsa, urges individuals who have lost loved ones through road accidents to seek professional help. Because it's an accident, sometimes they least expected it. And so the whole story is so shocking that the person is denying that the son is dead. And so they are not grieving. And that is even terrible because their brains are not accepting the situation. You are supposed to be able to adjust to the situation a little bit. But if it is still coming back to her, then we call it um, post-traumatic stress disorder. It means that the person's trauma is still persisting after two years, which is not the best. And in that case, the only help is for her to see a professional to measure the extent of damage and actually help her to, to, to heal. Sitting behind a steering wheel, you have the lives of human beings with numerous branches, and a mistake could cause unending pain to them. Ofoyua Brakun, CV3 News, Accra.